Hello Scorpio, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your mid-December to mid-January tarot reading. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. And if this reading doesn't resonate for you, then please check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs and your North Node in some of my other readings. If you enjoy this video and it resonates for you please don't forget to hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel also if you're interested in purchasing a personal reading from me then you can find the link in the description below this video also if you're interested in contributing a donation towards my channel's growth then you'll also find the donation link in the description box below this video. Please bear in mind that there's no gender in tarot, so reverse the roles as you see fit. Remember that the cards can represent both male and female energies. And cross watchers are welcome to join this reading. So Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you in mid-December to mid-January. Though, although I would say that this tarot reading is timeless, but this is just the, that is just a guide for you. So it is for you whenever you come across this reading. So we're starting off with a major arcana card, the Lovers, which is Gemini energy. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Then another major arcana card, the Chariot. As cancer energy, you could be dealing with a cancer. We've got Gemini and Cancer so far. <laughs> then you have another major arcana card, the Tower. Um, so <laughs> definitely some really, I would say, major changes um, I feel occurring for you. Uh, the Tower is Scorpio energy. Um, then we have the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Then another major arcana card, the Moon, which is Pisces energy. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Then the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. Then the Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then the Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm going to clarify all of these cards for you, Scorpio. So, but we're starting off with Lovers. So, the Lovers, this can be about harmony in a relationship having that harmony, that peace within yourself, feeling whole within yourself. It can also be about being independent, making progress in life, making decisions as well, very important decisions in regards to love. I feel that there is an important decision here for you by the looks of things in regards to a love in regards to love um, you could also whoever you're involved with it could be a very good match for you you could be soulmates very much in love I feel um, feels like it could be quite an equal and balanced love of course this car does have a flip side um, it could also be about lust it could be about unhealthy reliance having an unhealthy reliance on others to make yourself happy. Um, that's the codependency part of it. And it can also indicate affairs and no strings attached. So I feel, regarding love though, I feel that you're taking the initiative you're taking control with the chariot i think in in this situation in this situation of um a relationship 
you want to move forward with someone I feel and I feel that you're both very determined I feel to make this happen for both of you I feel but with the tower I feel that this is going to really create a lot of changes for both of you I don't think everyone is going to be happy it's going to really upset a lot of people for some of you you may be leaving someone to be with this person it could be the other way around or you could both be single but there could be so many different scenarios but with the tower occurring I would say that it's not going to be an easy situation I feel I feel that this relationship is going to cause all sorts of problems for both of you or or one of you but it could be for both of you um, it could be that other people may be disagree with your relationship may not be happy with it like I said you could be leaving there could be other parties involved that you could be leaving to be together uh, but I do see a lot of trouble around this decision and I feel that there's it's going to cause a lot of changes in your life but I feel that you know in your heart this is where you feel your happiness lies and you may be willing to make this sacrifice to be with this other person I feel that there's going to be a lot of communication with the Eight of Wands. Um, I feel that it's going to be from different parties. Um, I feel particularly the communication is going to be between you and your lover um, regarding how you're going to proceed with this. And it, it might be that you both feel very anxious about you know making it taking this step and maybe you're having some really emotional conversations with other people people that you also care about um that maybe don't agree with what you're doing i i do also feel that this may be a really difficult conversation for one of you, you or the other person, uh, to have if, if you're leaving another party behind in order to be together. I feel that there are a lot of fears behind this, not knowing what the future really holds you know as a result of the actions that you may decide to take I feel you're for it could be in the planning stage or you're both getting ready to do this to take this action um, yeah I, I, I feel there are a lot of fears um, for some of you the moon card can also indicate secrets coming to light so for some of you in regards to what is going on here perhaps perhaps you've kept your relationship quiet for quite from many people maybe people are just finding out now about your relationship perhaps you're telling people what you intend to do so the secret this big secrets coming to light and I feel that you've definitely searched deep within your soul to find your truth to do what's truth what you truly want to do I feel really look deep within connected with your intuition to quite a significant degree because you want to make sure that what you're doing is right but I feel in your heart you know this is what you want I feel but it's also a very risky thing to, for you to do you might lose people 
that you love in the process you might lose a certain people with either within your family within your friendship groups it might mean that you really need to move away for some of you but i feel that this is going to be a really transform transforming period of time for both of you concerned but i feel that you really look deep within your heart you see the potential you see the growth around this you want this new start in love you want this future for yourself you you feel that this is the way forward for you very much with the queen of pentacles you've you've not you've not done this just on the spare of the moment you've really thought about this i feel and then with the page of swords yeah i i feel yeah with the page of swords I feel that, that, again, I feel that there's more communication um, definitely um, concerning this. I feel this this could indicate that you've done your research, perhaps, for some of you. Um, that you are very serious about wanting to do this. This can also be about communicating to other people what, what you intend to do, letting them know what's what's happening, being truthful with other people, coming forward with the truth, communicating that truth. For, for some of you also, where this situation doesn't apply to you, this could also be a strong indication that you have something, a small amount of money coming towards you. It could also be a gift as well. And then next we have the Page of Cups. So definitely I feel love is definitely here between both of you. And you both want to be together. That I feel very much strongly about this. Um, you may be exchanging gifts with each other. Um, for some of you may be getting engaged. I feel with the page of cups um, I, I do feel for some of you who are single this could also indicate that there is someone that's interested in you that someone that may be coming forward within the next few months to offer that cup of love and I, also, for some of you, this could also indicate an ex returning. Uh, maybe some of you uh, in this situation, this lover situation, maybe this is someone you've dealt with in the past. Perhaps they didn't leave a good impression on your friends and family. Maybe that's why you feel, felt as if you've got to do, you had to see each other in secret and you've only just revealed what's going on because of the history that you've perhaps had in the past that could be for some of you but for this this card could definitely indicate a return of an ex for some of you that are, that are single right now um your ex and and they could be returning in the within the next one to three months i would say but i feel in this i feel that it's definitely you see your happiness for those of you who are in this situation, you, you see your happiness with this person. You see a future with this person. You know, you both want this. You want you want a house, the kids, a future together. You love each other an awful lot. And, and you want to give each other this chance to be happy together. You want this for each other. This is what you want. So now I'm going to clarify all these cards for you. I'm going to clarify the lovers, the chariot, the tower, the eight of wands, the moon, the queen of pentacles, the page of swords, the page of cups 
and the Ten of Cups for you to get more information, more insight into this situation. Of course, like I said, this won't apply to all of you. But I do feel that for some of you, this is someone that, this could be an ex that you have got together with, that you are planning to, you know, be with permanently. For some of you, it's, it's, it's not an ex. So, so clarifying the lovers, we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Oh my God, that's this is a power couple. So absolutely, the lovers can indicate harmony in a in 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 love, soulmates, and and the Queen of King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, absolute power couple. Um, both absolutely made for each other soulmates we've got here so you've definitely you're definitely you've definitely met someone that is absolutely your perfect match definitely equal and balanced and harmonious relationship here both really balance each other out i feel and then clarifying the chariot, we have the judgment card. So yeah, this is a really major decision with the major kind, another major kind of card coming out. This is a major life-changing decision for both of you. But with the clarified, sorry, excuse me. Clarifying the chariot card is the judgment card, another major arcana card, like I said. So this tells me that this is a very life-changing, important decision for both of you. It's going to mean a lot of changes in both of your lives. A lot of sacrifices have to be perhaps made um, in order for you both to be together. But I'm, I feel that you're willing to move forward on this. I feel that your love is very strong for each other. And, you know, you want to be together so badly and and you're such a good match the quick the king of swords the queen of swords such a good match and then clarifying the tower we have the wheel of fortune and the sun so of course again two major kind of cards wheel of fortune and the sun clarifying the tower which is which, which is also a major kind of card but this is absolutely the most important decision you've ever had to make in your life. But you know, you want your fortunes to change. The wheel is turning in your favour that this is your happiness. This is your future. And yeah, it's going to upset a few people. But you know in your heart that this is something you have to do for your future happiness. And people that really love you and care about you. Um, they will support you and have your back on this. That's the way you look at it. And for those of, for those that don't, then it's goodbye. You're willing to leave them behind because you're willing to cut them out with the queen, queen, the king of swords and the queen of swords. Not afraid to cut people and things out that don't serve their greater good. So I feel that this is a really good indication with the wheel of fortune and the sun coming out that. You both absolutely in love with each other. Both see a real future together. Really make each other happy. And it all seems like a really positive move on both of your parts. So clarifying the Eight of Wands. We have the Two of Cups. And the Eight of Cups. So we've got two Eights here. That signifies um, change. Uh, movement there is lots of movement and change going on within your life because you've got the eight of cups the eight of wands the two of cups so the two of cups this is all about partnerships a new start a new stable and steady start in a relationship having mutual love mutual attraction for each other which you definitely do Having a really equal balance love where there's lots of give and take and respect and most of all lots of love and attraction 
and definitely soulmate energy here I'm getting for it and I do feel that there is definitely I said there's an element of what you one of you may be walking away from a relationship and with the eight of cups here I do feel as if you are perhaps leaving someone else behind either you or the other person that you're being with um, someone's going to be left heart behind as a result of this I feel won't apply to all of you but some of you it could be just you both walking away from things that no longer serve your greater good might not be that you're leaving another party another partner could be just friends family people that don't agree with you you're leaving them behind but it could also mean that one of you is leaving behind another relationship to be together then clarifying the moon we had the three of wands the ace of swords and the nine of cups i'm going to get one more clarifier out and the queen of cups so yeah you like i said with the moon card coming out yeah they could you're not sure you know there's a fear you you don't know what's around the corner what's going to happen in the future but i feel with the three of wands you know it's it's about you know waiting for your waiting for things to happen waiting for things to get moving waiting your ships have come in you're waiting i think it's just a matter of um putting all of this in action getting ready to do make that really big major step for both of you i feel but there's obviously definitely a fear attached to it but the same but at the same time i feel with the ace of swords you both know what you truly want in your heart you've searched your hearts and you know you know that this is what you both want and you're following your heart and your head i feel you you both with the with the nine of cups you're i feel you you both feel as if this is your wish come true being with each other it's a wish come true there's a lot of love there and you both really love each other you know this is a wish come true for both of you and there's a lot of love between both of you and then clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. Sorry, one set of cards. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups. So, yeah, it's going to, with the Queen of Pentacles knows that this is going to cause arguments a lot of conflict with people that are, are not on board with this that don't agree with what you're doing it's going to um be a shock to some people it's not going to be without its difficulties but i feel that you are going to try, overcome these conflicts you know you're going to walk away from these conflicts i don't think you're going to look back you know you're going to move on it's going to be difficult breaking certain bonds and ties but if that's the way it's got to be that's the way it will be and yeah you, you you're dropping your burdens it's been quite a burden i think for both of you maybe hiding the fact that you were both together if that's the case so it's, it's a burden that, that you've had to carry for both of you and it's a burden uh having to having to hurt some people that you're ready to drop these burdens to be together as so you are soulmates with the six of cups uh, this is soulmate energy it could also be someone that you're with you know that's that's from your past you know starting out on a new road in your relationship you know it can also indicate a gift coming to you uh, there's a strong sort of indication here with the page of cups and the page of swords and six of cups that you definitely a lot of you definitely have a gift coming to you not all of you but you know different types of gifts but there's a strong indication here that there's something coming for you 
might be unexpected for some of you as well. That is going to be a, ple a very pleasant surprise, a nice one, I feel. And then clarifying the Page of Swords, we have the Four of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, you, the Four of Cups in reverse is tells me that you know, you're ready to overcome any difficulties and challenges. You may be looking for solutions. Maybe you want to do this as painlessly as possible, you know. Um, but you're definitely, this definitely tells me you're preparing for change, for big drastic changes in your life. That's definitely an indication of that. And, and you're willing to do what is necessary with a page of swords, it clarifying that. You're willing to cut people out that are not on board with this that don't agree with this you're definitely you're willing to do that and then clarifying the page of cups we had two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles so yeah i, I i'd say that yeah it's a, it's a chance of you know, a whole new fresh start in love, you know, to find that happiness. It's about your future. And yes, you may be going backwards and forwards, uh, being torn emotionally about having to leave certain people behind and make this move because, you know, you may have emotional ties and bonds to these people, people that you really perhaps love and care about. But, and it's not, you're not doing it without difficulty, I feel. But you are prepared to do it, I feel. I was saying that because of love. You know, love is, love is a big sort of motivator in this. Um, and you, you're sure about what you want. And then clarifying the Ten of Cups. <laughs> we, we have the Ten of Cups, would you believe? Um, so definitely after your happiness... And then the Ace of Cups. So, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, what more could you want? I mean, this talks about absolutely the love is, and the bond is is, is massively strong between both of you. Um, you love each other at, on a soul level, I, believe, I feel. And you definitely, you're definitely happy with each other and you see a future together. What more could you ask for, really? Um, so that was a brilliant read for you, Scorpio. Let's get you out some of Romance Angels. To wrap this up, yeah. <laughs> and at the, straight away, we've got... I'm going to shuffle them, but I have to pick this one. I've got new love. So for some of you, like I said, who are single, could have new love coming in for you. A new person stirred your romantic feelings. So definitely some of you single Scorpios out there um, and definitely within the next one to three months, I would say have, have new love coming in for you. Absolutely, for sure. So let's get you out some more Romance Angels. got chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction here definitely um lots of chemistry between both of you like i said um you are soulmates and the bond is very deep and unbreakable you've got calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together yeah this is your soulmate i believe some of you single Scorpions out there could be meeting your soulmate as well. We've got past life relationships. So you might have lived another life together before. You've known each other before so in another life. And love yourself first yeah I feel that you are 
doing that by following your heart and your head about all of this you know following what you want listening to your intuition listening to your heart so you know that's you are loving yourself you know let's get you out a wisdom of the oracle card to wrap this up scorpio god blimey so, this is such a lovely reading I, I know it's not all roses because there are going to be some people that are not going to agree with this and some people who you're going to have to part company with but the love that you both have is, is very special it's it's something that you can't that can't be denied definitely can't be denied And we've got, we've got Treasure Island and Higher Power. So definitely using your intuition, connecting strongly with your intuition, I, I would say. And then let's see what Treasure Island is about. So this is about the law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition. The results of positive thinking made manifest abundance appearing as if from nowhere financial gains and sharing of good fortune so your relationship is a treasure providing even more than you need but you may not see that right now no matter how long you've been together you and your partner are always discovering hidden gems about yourselves and each other now is the time of discovery it's as if everything is in sync and everything is new again romance blossoms and love is in the air you can be assured that this partnership will bring you great gifts and valuable lessons keep your heart open the message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you absolutely spot on and then you've got a higher power so that's about conscious contact with higher power the presence of the divine seeing the source energy in all things committing to a partnership with spirit and it's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with the higher power called god goddess spirit or any other name that, that is sacred and holy recognize that your partnership with spirit is your number one priority the appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution Tend your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true, true nature. So, yeah, I feel there definitely is a special bond between both of you. Well, Scorpio, I do wish you all the luck in the world. Have a happy Christmas. And if you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in purchasing a personal reading from me, then you'll find the link in the description below. This.